Hello, this is JBig Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install, or you could also upgrade your processor in a Precision T3620 workstation. Um, so we'll, we'll go through here. Actually, before we go through the video, um, if you're planning on upgrading your processor and you don't already have one, uh, we run a blog site. It's called greenpcgamers.com. And all you have to do is go to the website, click on blog. Um, you can either search right here or just browse through. And you can find uh, Precision Workstations, Z Series HP Workstations, IBM Workstations. We basically go through these systems and teach you how to upgrade them. So. In this case, this video is about a Precision T3620 workstation. So we have gone through here and, and shown you the popular processor upgrades. So we've included the step codes uh, for these processors, um, all the known processors that are supported by Dell. So uh, you can also use this page to you know, uh, get ideas about other upgrades that you could do to your system. But in this particular case, uh, focusing on these processors here are the step codes if you haven't bought one yet. Um, these are definitely supported by the system. And so, but uh, but here we go. So, uh, once you have your processor, um, you're gonna wanna pull off your side panel. Now we've already removed the heat sink. So you can see inside here, our processor uh, slot is open and ready to go. That's our heat sink. It's got a fan. It's got a. You must plug that fan in before you um before you turn the machine on. But we'll get to that in a little bit here. So, this is just the hardware install part. Here's our processor. In this system, we're basically we're just gonna put an i7 6700 proc in there. It's on the low end of what we typically would install for gaming, but it'll get the job done. So. There's the step code again, SR2L2. We're gonna go ahead and gently put that inside the slot. You wanna be very careful. You do not wanna drop this processor because if you bend those pins, you're in big trouble. You're gonna end up buying another motherboard. Also, before you install the, a processor like this, make sure you've cleaned off any existing heat paste on the processor. Because if you get heat paste in the, in the pins, you're in big trouble. You're also probably gonna have to buy another motherboard. So we've got the processor installed. We have to pull down our retention clip that locks the processor into place. And that clip's let in right in like that. At this point, now we need to apply thermal grease or heat paste. And my favorite heat paste is uh, the heat paste from Shiatsu Microsci. Let's see if we can get a nice clear picture of that. So you can you can order these. I, I think you can order them on like Amazon or eBay. Uh, but you'll want to apply a nice little dab of that to the middle of the processor. And what happens is, is when you put that heat sink on the processor and the system actually heats up, it will evenly spread that heat paste throughout the whole top of that processor. If you put too much on there, what's going to end up happening is it's going to go all over the sides of the processor as well. So... You know, apply, it's like a pen cap of heat paste. Like, I think I put about a, a half of gram on there. So now you put your heat sink on there. This is an OEM heat sink from Dell. It's got a fan on it. There's four screws that lock it into the motherboard. There's also um, the fan that you do have to plug in. If you forget to plug the fan in, the system will halt you in the BIOS. But yeah, you definitely want to plug it in like so. And then at this point, there's four screws. So you just go ahead and put those four screws in. You lock it in. And we're not actually gonna do it in the video, but as you can see, you just push down and just shimmy around. At that point, after you've done the screws, go ahead and put your side panel back on. And now you are ready to plug it back in and turn it on. So, this is just a video of us going into Windows 10 and just verifying that everything's working. Now, at this point, if you don't get video, um, 
there's a few things that might be the issue. You either didn't install the processor properly, um, or you don't have the microcode update for the processor. So a good a, a good rule of thumb is before you upgrade your processor or or install a random processor, make sure you've updated the BIOS with the existing processor um, because there are microcode updates that you'll need. So we, we're going to the device manager here. We can see that with HyperThread, we're getting eight cores with the i7-6700 proc. So that's essentially it. We've done a, a proper install. We're ready to you know use our system for whatever we plan to use it for. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please visit greenpcgamers.com for additional content. We also do some random giveaways with merch. Um, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like what you're seeing. Um, if you have additional uh, questions about hardware, um, I do stream uh, live on Twitch um, most nights at 9 central time. Um, you can go ahead and uh, see on the screen you can follow um, and, and answer any questions that you might have live. Thanks again for watching.